I bet John Samuel Schinker loves dove season. Actually, no, he doesn't because it's during football season. Do you dove hunt any at all? I do not. I wish I did. Uh, we got a few tight ends going today, actually. They're going this afternoon to shoot shoot in a field, but uh, I will not be in attendance today. Oh, man. That, that team captain, that's what comes with being a team captain. Like everybody else going dove hunting. No, I'm a team captain. I got responsibilities. So, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I know you don't want this question, but is there a quarterback controversy? Uh, I wouldn't say there's a controversy. Uh, I think we knew going in that it wasn't set in stone that TJ would be the only guy that would get reps. We knew Robbie was in the game plan, and that was just kind of how the game fell. I think for most of this year, just from my standpoint, it's probably going to be who has the hot hand at the moment um, and what causes issues for the defense. So if, if TJ one week and Robbie the next, and so be it. It's, it's just got to come down to – to what what's to give us the best chance to win the football game okay. and if if those guys can buy into that then we'll be in good shape okay now you always hear people that are sitting behind microphones always say things like if you've got two quarterbacks you've got none um you play the game you catch the passes congratulations on the touchdown by the way you catch the Thank passes you. does it matter if, if it's a different guy back there for you guys can you can you play two or quarterbacks a game and be successful yeah, we can. We've done it for most of the year now, um, just through camp and things like that. Um, you know, obviously, one, normally it's an easier rhythm, but even with the guys that we've had, we've had enough reps with them that we know what to expect with each guy. We know how each guy throws the ball and things like that. So um, it is harder, I think, for those guys to get in a groove and a rhythm during a game. But um, at the same time, if if that's what's best for the team, that's what Coach Harson wants to do, then that's what we're going to do. John Samuel Schinker is with us, the Auburn tight end on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Um, Ashford, though, that dude is fast, man. I mean, do, do you know what he's been clocked? I mean, for quarterback speed, that guy can move. No, he can really move. We saw that in camp. I don't know if there were many times where a defensive guy actually got to him uh, on some scramble drills and things like that. I don't know how fast he is. I would guess probably 23 uh, miles an hour, maybe Ooh. more, but – he can really go, that's for sure. What, what did you learn about this team after – I know it's only one game. It's Mercer, a team you guys were supposed to beat soundly, which you did. But did you learn anything? Um, I wouldn't say I learned anything really new. I knew that, you know, in the first game you would have hiccups and little things that don't normally happen throughout a season just because it's your first game. You're kind of knocking off some rust. But I thought the young guys played well. I thought, you know, I didn't really get to them that they were in a college environment now and – um, so I was exciting to see, even on special teams, those guys do that. Um, but there wasn't any big surprises. I think week two is a big jump for most teams. Uh, you clear up a lot of mistakes that happen in game one. Um, so that's what we're looking forward to this week. You know, you get a you get a, a lengthy rain delay, which is rare. Doesn't happen a lot. I don't know if it was your first one or what, but um, coaches mentioned, you know, we went back, we relaxed, then we had snack time. I mean, what kind of snacks do you consume in the middle of a game? No, I mean, you knew you were going to go back out eventually, right? Yeah, we knew at some point, and that's the challenge is because you don't know when. I mean, the lightning can strike at any time, and it resets the clock, and you just keep going the same cycle. Um, but, yeah, you sit down, eat some Uncrustables, and uh, you just enjoy – like we put on our phones and watch, you know, some football games. I think Florida was on at that time. Um, so you just watch because you don't, you don't really know. And then with about 10 minutes left, uh, in the delay, we got ready, we got loose in the locker room, and then we went out and uh, stretched and we're ready to go. Uncrustable is so uh, underrated. Oh, do you, so good. Oh, yeah. Do you like the strawberry or the grape better? Grape, for sure. Uh, it's so good. We have them all the time. Um, they're so underrated. Yep. You know, there, there's this, this magic Uncrustable window where it's not frozen – but it's it's to the point where like the jelly and the peanut butter on the inside are almost congealed. It's almost like ice cream. If you can catch it in that window, it is truly one of the great delights in life. Yeah, you got to put it in the fridge for a few hours. Yep. And once it gets there, it's prime. Yeah, I put, I put them in the cooler. I take them to the beach now. Yeah, you put them down in the ice. Oh yeah, so uh, good. Yeah, that's fantastic. So yeah, you ever have one in the uh, the old uh, tree stand? Uh. No, actually, I have not. I don't know. I normally just take like granola bars and stuff. I don't take 
Uncrustables. Oh, that's uh, a good there. way to bait a deer would be an Uncrustable, right? <laughs> Some peanut butter. <laughs> uh, tell me about uh, Shed Jackson. What, what does he bring to the roster? I mean, you got your role, you got your touches, uh, and then there's Shed out there, uh, out there again. Tell me what he brings to the table and, and maybe what he's doing well going into this season. Well, I think he's one of the hardest workers on the team, and every guy starting in January noticed what he was doing. And uh, just being a veteran, he's been through a lot of stuff. He's played a lot of games, so I think a lot of guys, you know, lean on him and respect him for what he does. Um, he brings that to the team, just a veteran presence, a leader uh, in that room, in the wide receiver room for sure. Um, just consistent. I mean, you can always count on Shed. He's going to be there um, for you. He's going to run the right routes. He's going to get the right depth, he's going to make the catch. And that's something that you can't take for granted, uh, especially in the wide receiver room. John Samuel Schinker with us on the johnstonrvcenter.com hotline, the Auburn tight end. What do you hope to see against San Jose State? So you've, you've been able to digest the film against Mercer, make those corrections. What do you hope to see against San Jose State? Just much improved on the little things, especially in the tight end room. Just little things that, you know, are pretty uncharacteristic, but that happen a lot. Um, in the first game and just we want to see a big leap and the urgency and stuff was there this weekend obviously first game everybody's amp um, and just going out and handling our business the way we should and, um, you know imposing our will on the next thing that we have and that's that just happens to be San Jose State. Um, listen we, we won't rehash everything that happened in the off season, but it, it looked really cool um, I was watching the the Auburn coaches show Auburn football review whatever it was and it shows you guys in the locker room um, the celebration, the water going everywhere, you guys embracing Coach Harson and singing the fight song like you always do. Um, we're showing the celebration there. Um, th- just the joy of, of getting through everything that happened in the offseason, getting on the field, playing in front of that great crowd, and winning a game and sharing that moment in the locker room. Sort of tell the Auburn folks listening how much that meant to everyone in that inner circle. Well, everyone's big, obviously, but just you're right. Like everything that's happened and all the work and everything, even the controversies that have gone on, just to go out and do what we love and play the game that we love together and to be able to get a win uh, in the opening weekend. You know, you don't ever take a win for granted. And I think we did that last year um, in the later half of the season. And so that we knew this year every win would be celebrated because, you know, you never know. I mean, this game, you can't take any team lightly. So um, to get that win, you know, that's something big that we do. And Coach Harson brought that in last year. And every win is important. Um, so we celebrate every one. But it was, it was a big one for sure. All right, he is John Samuel Schinker, the Auburn tight end. 6.30 kick, Jordan Hare, Saturday night. San Jose State is on ESPNU if you can't make it to the game. Good luck. We appreciate it. We'll see you next Monday. Yes, sir. Thank you all. All right. Take care. John Samuel Schinker with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline.